From the outside, 38 London Street looks like any other house in the center of Chile's capital, Santiago. But the walls of this building hold a bloody past. This is where political dissidents were tortured and murdered during Augusto Pinochet's dictatorship. Most of the people who went through this center had to go through two different types of ordeal. They had to wait to be taken to the second floor, where they were interrogated, and at the same time, because of the way the house is built, they would hear their companions being questioned and tortured. Between September 1973 and September 1974, 2,000 people were tortured here. 96 were murdered, including two pregnant women. Today, the house at 38 London Street is part of the memory journey, a guided tour designed to make sure the 17 bloody years of Augusto Pinochet's dictatorship are not forgotten. Tourists can also visit the grave of socialist president Salvador Allende and the Museum of Memory. These places serve as an example for the transfer of memory to new generations. New generations like these young people who, 40 years after the coup of September 11, 1973, are discovering the country's violent past. All of this had a big impact on me. I was surprised to see everything that had been done here. Elsewhere on the tour, an old farm where thousands of Chileans were detained. Among them, Chile's former president, Michel Bachelet. In the once feared tower, you can still see some objects that once belonged to the prisoners. Today, the park has been turned into a center for peace. As Benedetti said, oblivion is full of memory. In fact, if we want to forget, even if time goes by, humanity always looks back at the past and has to learn from its mistakes. A very visible past in the cemetery of Santiago, where people still pay their respect to the murdered dissidents but also to remember those who will never be found.